Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. For all of you dog owners out there looking for a convenient raw food option that takes your dog's health and taste buds seriously, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna give you my honest and personal take on We Feed Raw's food for dogs. After that, we'll go over some pros and cons of We Feed Raw and take a look at each option and its ingredients as well as where the meat is sourced. Also, if at any point you want to check out We Feed Raw, you'll find discount links in the description down below and you will save 30% off your trial box. All right, let's jump right into it. Now, We Feed Raw was founded in 2009 by a couple who realized that there were many benefits to feeding raw food to their dogs. Alyssa, the company's founder, passed away a few years later, but her family continued to expand the business and We Feed Raw has grown significantly. So what exactly is We Feed Raw's food like? We Feed Raw offers six protein options, beef, lamb, venison, duck, turkey, and chicken. And when I look at pre-mixed raw food, the most important thing that I like to see is protein. But it's just as important for me to know where the animal was sourced and how they were raised. And luckily, We Feed Raw does provide that information. So the beef is grass fed, but not grass finished. Now what that basically means that there's also grain present in their diet and all the beef is sourced from a farm in the US, along with the chicken, turkey, and duck. However, the lamb and venison are sourced from farms in New Zealand and they're both grass fed and grass finished. Okay guys, now that we know that, let's discuss which fresh dog food is best for your dog. Is it only for adult dogs, puppies, certain breeds, or is it okay for every dog? Actually, We Feed Raw's formulas are designed for all dogs, regardless of age or breed. This seems to sound great, right? Now, personally, when it comes to puppies, I like to see food that's especially geared towards their growth and development. Sets nutrient needs are slightly different for growing puppies. But We Feed Raw does mention that their diet plans were created by PhD animal nutritionists, which is good enough for me. We Feed Raw is also very careful about keeping its food safe for owners to handle. As the food is being processed, they put it through a procedure known as cold pressure or high pressure processing. This means that instead of applying heat to kill potentially harmful bacteria, they use high water pressure, which in return keeps the meat raw but free from bacteria. Personally, I prefer raw, unprocessed meats, but I'm okay with feeding pre-made raw meat that's gone through this process, especially if I'm buying a lot of portions at a time, because I want to be assured that there isn't any harmful bacteria in there that could harm my dog. So what's it like ordering food from We Feed Raw? Well, you have two options. You can either buy different recipes in bulk, or you can create a custom meal plan. Now for beginners, from my experience, I think creating a meal plan will be a lot simpler. That way you can see how much food your dog needs to eat daily and it'll also show you how much money you'll be spending each week. Now let's discuss the actual ingredients of the food. We'll start with the animal proteins, beef, venison, and lamb. The main ingredients in the beef option are beef neck with bone, heart, liver, and kidney which are all superfoods for dogs. And in terms of pricing, the beef recipe is around $40 per 5 pounds or in the ballpark of $8 a pound. And when it comes to PMR ratios, all of the recipes that We Feed Raw offers are 80% muscle meat, 10% bone, and 10% secreting organs. If you're not familiar with PMR ratio, these are the commonly ratios used to mimic the body structure of a prey animal that dogs catch in the wild. Now these parts on their own won't provide every single nutrient your dog needs. So to add in missing nutrients, there's also a premix of synthetic nutrients added in there as well, and we'll talk about that later on. The next option is lamb. The ingredients are lamb, with the remaining ingredients being beef, heart, liver, kidney, neck with bone, and the vitamins and mineral premix. This is where the recipe caught me off guard a bit since the muscle meat takes up to 80% of the recipe. Lamb makes up the majority, but I was hoping to see lamb's heart, liver, kidney, and bone as well. I understand that buying these could make the recipe much more expensive, but for owners who have dogs with a beef intolerance, this could be a problem if they don't happen to look at the ingredients. And in terms of price, the lamb recipe costs around $48 per 5 pounds, or about $9.5 per pound. Alright, next we have venison. 
the muscle meat is venison, but beef does make up the remainder of the recipe. Now the venison option is about $50 per 5 pounds or about $10 per pound. All right, into the poultry options, duck, turkey, and chicken. The turkey ingredients are turkey gizzards, tails, wings, liver, and the premix. Since there doesn't appear to be any turkey muscle, the meat must come from the gizzards and from all the tails and wings. Now in poultry blends, liver is all of the organ meat. The turkey option is about $43 per 5 pounds, which is about $8.5 a pound. The chicken option consists of chicken heart, back leg quarters, liver, and a nutrient premix. But like the turkey recipe, the muscle meat portion seems to come from the hearts and meat on the legs and back. Chicken is the most affordable recipe since it's about $38 per 5 pounds or about $7.5 a pound. Last up is duck and this one's a little different. So it looks like they include plain duck, but they don't include duck gizzards, heart, or liver. Instead, they use turkey parts. I also noticed that there isn't a kneading bone in the ingredients list. But according to their FAQ, the duck recipe does contain duck bones. And the duck recipe is about $48 per 5 pounds or around $9.5 a pound. So what do I think overall? First, let's discuss the pros. We Feed Raw seems to be pretty transparent with where they source their meats and how the animals are raised and bred, which is definitely important. Another pro is that the veterinary nutritionist that formulates these recipes has 30 years of experience in raw feeding. The third pro is that they have a meal plan and subscription service, which makes things easier for owners who aren't sure how much food to purchase and feed their dogs. The last thing I'd like to mention is that they use all biodegradable packaging, which is a plus for those looking to be environmentally conscious. Now let's talk about a few cons. The first is that certain raw feeders may be turned off by the use of some synthetic nutrients. However, just like cold pressure processing, synthetic nutrients aren't necessarily a bad thing but some raw feeders will prefer only whole foods. Now, another drawback is that some formulas contain two animal proteins, which can be problematic for owners that have pets with a sensitivity to certain proteins and prefer to feed a single protein formula, especially in the case where your dog has a protein allergy to something like beef or chicken. However, for dogs who don't have any allergies or intolerances, two protein sources in one recipe gives your dog more of a variety of diet. So aside from these few cons, my dog and I really like We Feed Raw. And that's it for this video. Again, if you want to check out We Feed Raw for yourself, you'll find links with a discount of 30% off your first trial box in the description down below that you won't find on their regular website. Now, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys and like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.